Allow me to introduce myself. I am Thomas Lynx. If you have any questions, please feel free to question me about anything about my life. Sorry, yes, no. you. What's your job? Oh, I am a librarian. And those damn kids keep shouting in my library. You're not supposed to shout in a library! Anyone else? You. You have a library problem. Sometimes, because my girlfriend died. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> you. <laughs> Who did I get on with? Well, there was this one kid known as Jess, and she was really nice. I don't understand why she's getting bullied all the time. Uh, you. Yeah. You look like a magician. Can you do any magic? Uh, I do an Ouija board. Oh, God, Biggest so mistake of my life. Cool. <laughs> you. I was walking by the library the other day, and I saw you sat talking to things that aren't there. Have you ever been diagnosed with schizophrenia? <laughs> kind of, sort of, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you. Um, yes, I am looking forward to the reunion. Unless, uh, that Miss Classy, I think her name is. I don't think she knows the definition of the word. <laughs> you. How old are you? I am 34. I'm not that old. Don't I saw you. <coughs> old. old. I, I saw you. What are you going to do filming your books? Yes. You. Okay, at least you're not 35. Yeah, you have a point. You have a good point. You. Um, did you, did you have a wife and what did she get killed off? She got shot. Oh my God. By a fog. You. Why would you kill somebody? Well, as many say, some people just don't deserve to live. Because they may have done something either terribly wrong, so wrong that they don't deserve to live anymore, or people have uh, overthought the idea and just killed someone anyways. But I have not killed anyone. You. If they've done something wrong and they don't deserve to live, what well, if you do something wrong? Does that mean you don't deserve to live? Yep, I would kill myself. Rahila? My favourite little murder weapon. Well, <coughs> first thing anyone would say would probably be guns, but they're too loud and, you know, they really hurt your hands and they're really complicated to use. I like using a knife because I like to feel blood and flesh being torn apart. It's very satisfactory. But I haven't killed any humans. So Harris. Harrison? How long have you been working in the library for? I've been working into the library for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight years. <laughs> you! Um, do you know how you said like your girlfriend died? Yes. Is it true, just speculation, <clears throat> that you killed her because she cheated on you with someone that was seven years younger than you? I love that woman! I clearly touched her. <laughs> You. you said you did a Ouija board. Was that before or after your girlfriend or wife had died? Before. Oh, <laughs> All right. You. Do you see God? Sometimes, not always. They just keep on telling me to kill people. You. What's yeah. with the hat? I love this hat. A good friend of mine, Bill something, Crumbleton or something like that, gave it to me. It's a really good hat. It suits me. <laughs> you. When you die, what do you want them to do with your body? Oh, uh, they can do graffiti on my grave or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Last one now, Richard. Would you let them, um, like, if you, would you get cremated or buried? I would be buried. Thank you very much. Thank you.